yes, another Moon Knight box. We are very happy that we still had some PayPal credit to do this with. So, Blue, this is for you. I figured teaming you up with Brett again might, you know, bring some more magic to our collection. But really, we didn't need any more of these. I wanted to order something else on our website, some other cards, and I will unbox those in an upcoming episode. But for now, this is for Blue. All right, this personal break's for Blue. We got 2023 Upper Deck Marvel Studios. Good night. All right, all right. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Steel City. Thank you, thank you. And please, everyone, I'm going to put links down below to Steel City Collectibles. Check them out. Buy your collectibles from them. Sports memorabilia, Marvel cards, whatever you want. Down below, I'm going to put a link to their website, their YouTube channel, everything. Please support these guys. They are amazing. All right, there's our 15 packs. Here we go, here we go. So this now makes it a full two cases of cards that we've gotten. Unbelievable. Show me what you got. All right. Your scales lack balance. Here the account of punch. A lot of these are going to be dupes. Be Pretty much everything in this box they might be a duplicate. <laughs> we don't know. Um, but we just wanted to support. You know, Brett was hanging out here. Not a lot of traffic on the channel tonight. And, you know, we're kind of bored and we had that credit. So we figured why not. So here we are just being irresponsible. <laughs> but having fun. Cool. Hyde. And Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. I like that he inspected that, uh, but I think that was just a regular base card. There she is. Oscar Isaac. I see something back there. While he lives, so does she. Oh, a Mr. Knight. Again, a duplicate, but that's a good one for trading or whatever. That's actually a good Number card one. to have. Um, yeah, we have all the level one acetates. Museum after hours, Ethan Hawke kills other hero staff. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Mr. Knight is our favorite, especially Blue. He loves Mr. Knight. So even though it's a dupe, it's a good dupe to get, I feel. Buy me some time. Oh, the scales, all right. Buy me some time. Run, Chamber of Gods. Sand variant, nice. Here the account of Conchu. Get those scales balanced. Cool. So we got one of our four hits. The acetate um, is is one hit. And, and we learned this from the Grey Malkins that there's around four hits a box. Pretty much going to get an acetate, a Traveler of the Night, a Sky Blue card, and then one other card. Could be an insert, a metal card, an autograph. Um, or they may surprise you, and you might not get the sky blue, and you might get the autograph instead. Like, a couple different variations there. <laughs> Tongue twister, I know that one. Awesome. It's another sand variant. So this could be a, I don't know, like a, a five or a six hit box if you count these two sand variants. Um, but on average, I think you get one of those in a box. But... I don't think it's it's rare when I've gotten two, like one sand of the Fist of Vengeance and one sand of the um, of the uh, chambers. So, yeah, I think there was one box blue open that had seven kind of hits, um, if you count the sand variants. But those aren't as big as hits as the four main ones. That's a great uh, Mr. Knight card, that one. So we're missing, on these Fist of Vengeances, we're missing two Sand Variants. We're missing um, the 20th card and the 5th card, I think. Um, so we're just going to have to buy those off of, like, eBay or something. Oh, uh, there's Noggin's card. Awesome. <laughs> Shout out to Noggin's. Uh, someone we met on the Grey Malkin stream. Uh, he liked that card a lot. and It's a cool card. So no major, major hits yet. They're, we're building anticipation. Oh, here comes our Traveler of the Night. Let's see which one we get. Dr. Hiro. Oh, we got it. Okay. Uh, this is a dupe. I wish it was a sand variant, but it's um, it's a duplicate, but that's okay. Like I said, probably this whole box is going to be duplicates. Um, but we could possibly finish some um, base sets to sell on eBay and stuff because we're a couple cards short of a, another base set to um, to sell and make some money off of. So... So at, at the worst, maybe we'll finish another base set. Downtown Cairo, Egyptian god walks among us, and it's a gift to her first avatar. 
Another chamber, okay. So, so far we need the sky blue and whatever the other potential big hit of this box could be. Um, like I said, it could be a metal card, could be a, you know, maybe a sand variant of a, of a traveler of the night, you know. Cool. I think we needed that one in sand, actually, the, the move the night sky. Sweet. Oscar Isaac. Mark, be nice to your little brother. Oh, oh there's a sand variant of... Ah, uh, not of one we need, I don't think. I think we have that sand. Wow, so that's, like I said, it could be seven if we get two more bigger hits. Cool. I misspelled intensity. I'm sorry. It's late. I have a bad headache today. Um, Brett was really kind. He held off on opening these. I had a friend stop by to pick some stuff up. And he delivered this for our collection. A Build-A-Figure Conchu. Oh, our Sky Blue's coming. Hang on. Whoa! We Look at that! We summoned them! That's amazing! Oh, awesome. That's cool. That's cool. Look at that. I literally just showed the figure. Um, this figure was a Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure, and I didn't want to buy any of the car, uh, the characters to build him because none of them were Moon Knight characters, and I didn't want to like support Hasbro in that way. But luckily, my friend, he collects a lot of Marvel Legends stuff, and he had a spare, so he gave it to me. How awesome. So now I have a, a built Conchu for our collection. Awesome. Another sand we, we need right there. That's good. That's a rare one to get, that, that sand, Mr. Knight. All right. What do I see back there? Is that a, a moon? I see a lunar card. I see a lunar card. Oh, it's another Mr. Knight. Oh, my goodness. We ha I think we have this one, but still. Um, yeah, I think that's a, is that a full moon, a new moon? Yeah, we, we literally have this one. That's, that's a bummer because there's a bunch of lunar cards we don't have. So that would have been nice to get a new lunar card. Um, but we got a Mr. Knight. This was kind of a Mr. Knight conchu box a little bit, and I kind of dig that. All right, last one. I think we got a chamber. Oh, what? We got another auto. No way. We got Amit. Holy cow. That is crazy. Wow! I did not expect that. Holy cow. We got Amit. Wow. In a Scarab. We do not have a gold Scarab card. I'm glad to be in service. Stars drift every time. Without Conchie, there's no more suit. And that's amazing holy cow that's no way we, second auto that made the box worth it that totally i gave up that was the last pack i i full-on gave up on that box check out brett and steve and their youtube streams i'm gonna put links to that down below um but yeah support these guys they're amazing and and blue and brett you the two b's teaming you guys up has been amazing for us but i feel like we've probably gotten the two autos in this new case they opened up with the Oscar one and now this one. So we're not gonna try our luck anymore. I think the autos in that case might be gone and it might just be metal cards and you know midnight blue cards and other things like that. So, you know, good luck to anyone out there who's who's buying from them. There could be a dual autograph though in that in that case, but I I think our odds are we hit it. We hit 24 boxes. That's a lot of Moon Knight cards to get. 
And like I said, coming up, we will have more card boxing openings from Steel City. I have two DC related ones that they're going to ship along with these cards. So we should hopefully get those in next week or sometime soon after. And I will open those both together on a stream on a Seek Night episode, even though it's DC. We're going to talk about other characters outside of Ghost Rider and Blade and Moon Knight on this show for sure. Um, but then I also have Halo Legacy cards that are going to be coming out at the end of March, early April, you know, leading up to our birthday. And we worked something out with our mom to get a couple boxes and have those here for you guys because we are huge Halo fans, obviously. And we are definitely going to be having a good time opening those and crossing into other people's streams again and opening a box of them on other channels as well. So a lot of fun coming up if you're a card collector. We're not fully diving into this. This is an expensive hobby. We have to be very choosy where we spend our money on this stuff and, and uh, how we you know charge on credit cards so we know what we can pay and how we can pay it off as quickly as possible before APR kicks our butt. So we got to spread things out. But yeah, we're not going to fully dive into cards. But anytime something really amazing like Moon Knight comes out or Halo comes out, you're going to see us dive full into it. But we're going to do something fun because I saw a few boxes for DC related stuff that were really cheap on their website and they were down to the last ones. So I bought both and we're going to open those very soon. So thank you so much again. Follow Steel City. Links down below. See you in the future. Peace.